<laughs> I guess today is song day as we build. I enjoy building a lot, so I guess that might be a part of it. The nice, nice, smooth, calm of building with occasional terror bird and Rex to help remind us that we're not alone here. Just saying. Welcome back, my friends. We are here at the top of the pinnacle of the point of the place in which will be our base. No, <laughs> um, just flew. Oh, whoa, I felt kind of weird. Just flew up to the top right above where I'm building at. It's kind of centering where we are. And I thought that would be the perfect center area. And it looks like by looking from well, from down here, it did look like that was the central area. So I was kind of trying to line up with that. Maybe have the Maybe the tech transmitter when we finally get that can like beam right up through that. It'll look pretty kind of cool. Look pretty kind of cool. Because those are words that I like to use. Uh, so I think we're going to do it in here. I mean, obviously, this looks like the place with the, how much space we've got. I really wish we had. I wish these were like available to place too. Like we had the. I just. That oh, looked great. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's get it here. Uh, let's see. I, I just slammed him full of everything because it seemed like that was something he'd enjoy. And he did. So we're going to use the enjoyment for that for placement. Okay, whatever words. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Um, trying to line up everything nicely to where there's some sort of cohesive look. And then there's the dates there. Yeah, let's do this. Let's look around here. I like how there's this gravel texture. Where's it at? Where's it at? Right here. This looks like like kind of like gravel. Almost feel like there should be entrance stuff over here. That looks like you come in through that gate there, and then you should be seeing something here, maybe. That might be a good start. I don't know. I wanted to put it right in the middle. I want to put it right in the middle, kind of give it some sort of, like, definitely. Yeah, we'll do it in the middle. I was going to, uh, so much stuff to think about here, because I like to re, I like to use the environment as much as we can, like, in a good, clever way. Maybe we could do something with, like, pillars and stuff coming up through here, like, rounded foundations as pillars. Oh, excuse me. Stinky should not have fed him that today. No, no, it's okay. It's no, it's okay. You don't have to go anywhere. Just hang out here. Just don't, just don't breathe too heavily there. And squeeze. So, like I was thinking too here, maybe coming in from here, we can make it look like there's a walkway area thing. That might be the way to go. Like taking you. Maybe we could just block out like I normally do. This, this kind of gives us a line to work from. No, I do. I have one there. Oh, it's probably underneath. Yeah, it is. Oh, we're picking them up anyway. I, just, I hate to waste stuff. I hate to have too much stuff in one spot. And oh, I like how how ooh. Oh, I really wish that was a consistency that could work here. Oh, it is flat, like that flat. Oh, that's nice. I'm just going to go all the way across with it, I guess, and just to see what we get out of this. If you guys have watched any of my Conan stuff uh, when I'm building, uh, this is what I call blocking an area. I'm not blocking it from people or animals, but just blocking in, like, and making, like, seeing what will go where, kind of set up, kind of give me an idea of how things will go. Now, that's one side. And I think this is the, the gate is three wide. Or is it four? One, two, it's four wide. Is it five? It's four. It's four wide. So let's go over here and I'm going to go like this. And I'll, again, I'll be picking all these up. I just want to do this to see. I'm thinking about putting, again, like these rounded pillars up from the ground. As you come in, they'll be on either side. Uh, it kind of feels forced if I do just the straight line, but at least I have an idea of how this could work. Okay. Okay. I'm, hmm, hmm, hmm. All right. Uh, so let me go ahead and get an idea exactly where I want this stuff. I don't want to spend the whole episode. You guys see me put down foundations and then I'm done. Uh, let me, let me do something. Uh, kind of get some more stuff lined up and we'll be right back. Welcome back my friends. 
The intensity has begun already. In the forest, towers will be made. No, just, just kind of. It mostly, it's kind of, you know, I'm thinking like, you know, it's kind of hard. This is the, the harder part. This is the part that needs to be right. So when you start, you know, you can start and be doing goods. And, you know, looking around here, like this is another little small opening. Maybe we can do something over here later. I don't know. I just want to have it like when we come up here, there's like, oh, there's a little opening. I hate that this tree is right in the middle. I am not going to remove that tree. I wish I could move stuff. That would be amazing. But it's, you know, it's right there. It may have to get removed. I really don't want to. We'll see what the dilly is, yo. But uh, starting off with this, this looks like crap back here. But I was using it again to square out our area. I'm not really sure exactly how I want to do the courtyard stuff. Uh, let's go back up to here. Go up to this. Over that. Right here. Little... A little cubby hole. You know how we like cubby holes? Well, here's our cubby hole for this build right now. It's not really the most exclusive looking cubby hole in the world, but it is yet still a cubby hole. Now, um, looking in here, the foundations, I don't think I have any. Did these angled ones? Triangular. I'm sorry, triangular ones. I apologize for calling you angled. My bad. Here's that. Let's go ahead and put them on the bar. Now, coming off of the first set of towers here on the side. Like this one, I, I'm not sure exactly how I want to do that. But, and I kind of wanted to cut across to that, but so much different options here. Yeah, that kind of that look, looks like a line right there, but it really isn't that big out. Uh, it's decently far out. There's nothing we can do about that. That's just how the set works. Okay, um, let's see if I can put something here. Maybe, yeah, let me actually snap that, which is kind of cool. Rotate, rotate, there we go. And we can continue on with a, like a set like that. Is that going to look okay? I don't know. It looks, yeah. I don't really care for that so much. So this is where the fun part is. Like, I do like where these initial placements are. Fun part. I mean, that kind of sarcastically a little bit too is... But tedious fun fun but tedious so then i was also thinking like maybe maybe could do like a little square thing coming back like that but that doesn't look right either uh, uh what are we doing um so what else we have for options here we went forward some more from those exact points we also have a down slope over here and just trying to get that where again it looks like another little bit of a road done as well which is gorgeously done whole area tempted to do like a, a borderline but keeps on going through my mind uh <laughs> i don't know what the deal is uh but coming in here and then seeing this and looking like that i think you know that is a pretty decent section especially with the, the hill coming up on that end maybe we should just wall it up i don't know that just seems like like a like a cop out you know what I'm saying like an easy easy answer Let's go ahead and go higher then. Uh, turn your take up here. Higher. Not you. Not you there. This way we can at least start getting our mind straight here. Now, um, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And here we go. And there we go. We have been using this without any problems. And now that I say that on a video, we even did an entire stream and had this there going on. So I don't know. So right there. Look at that. Look at that gorgeousness, though. It does look really good with a mossy going on this, man. Yeah, that mossy's hot. <laughs> and I do want to, I'm going to work in a work, work obsidian in with it, too. It worked well with the tower. So doing it here will do, will, I think will be wonderful, too. Um, just kind of keep it that theme, use it for accenting. Yeah, that looks like it's part of the, a part of the land. I mean, it looks like high quality goodness right there. There we go. Let me get these guys up another one. Right there. There, there. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm, there, right there. Very nice. So very nice. And again, like, yeah, that's, this is... That is pretty tasty. That is some tasty goodness. That's like chocolate chip cookies, right? When you like, like, hmm, I could do something tasty. Uh, so that's a good start. Yeah, it doesn't look like much, but you know, this is getting our footing. I guess you could say our hold 
into the area how we want whole. <laughs> uh, let's see, we got that. So coming back to the front gates, or well, not the front gates, but the entrance to the castle itself. We have it in the actual outer courtyards here. That's what I'm going to consider this area, an outer courtyard. Then we're going to make an inner courtyard, which is a, has to stay safe. That's, that's like this section out here is going to end up having random dinos every now and again, but the part we're working on now needs to be safe. We need to be able to feel comfortable leaving our dinos somewhere that's not up on that ledge. I mean, it's we're not, we really wouldn't be living here if we had to go kept, keep parking our dinos up there. I mean, if we had to do that, we had to do that, but I just prefer not to. Can you snap to... Yes, you can. Let's get you right. There. Then we could go down further. No? Yes? How about we go like that? Uh, from you right here. It's kind of a hard way to do it, but this really lets us see... Do any further. That's fine. That's fine. We'll make we'll make this work. We'll make do. And do. All right. There's that. We should be able to do another one underground. Yeah, the other is right there already. So, oh, that's what you're doing. Okay, here you go. And then this guy's not gonna do it though. I bet. Yeah. Nope. Oh, that's the one we already did. Dang it, man. It is what it is. Oh come on. It's not that hard to. Snap it. Oh, it's going through the roots. Hope it doesn't kill that tree. Can't be having no sick tree stuff happen in here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. No, no, no. I saw it down there a second ago. No. Okay, whatever then. Um, Let's drop this here. Rolling. Rolling in so I can see a little better here. This and The problem with this is that you can very, very easily tell where the foundation ends and the walls begin. By that inset, and there's nothing you can do about it. I mean, let's, let me just see. I mean, there's really nothing you can do about it, but let me see if I'm... Yeah, see how that will barely even think about lining up. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't look right. It doesn't look like it's lined up right. Let's see if we can do them all like that. I don't know. I don't think that's going to work well, and I think that's going to end up making it wonky if we try to do something different on the exterior. Because it wants to snap the other way. And I think there's a reason for that. Holy crap. Holy crap. Well, that sucks. I mean, that sucks that it looks that much better. Yeah, that looks like it's part of it now. Hmm. Well, then I'll, I'll be quiet now and we're going to do it like this then. At least for the exterior walls. Uh, I just don't... Whenever you flip stuff around, you know, stuff that snaps weird. You know, getting gaps in your ceilings. Stuff like that. We're, we're really trying to avoid that issue right now. Um, let's just see if we can continue, though, with this flow. Does that do anything for you there? It does not. That looks bad. It should be the other way. It's still... Eh. We'll make it work for now. Continue with this. So we now have a decent flat beginnings. Is yeah, yep, 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 yep. Okay, so I'm going to continue placing pieces here, if you can't tell, and uh, we'll return once we get to place this piece. I really don't want to. I just want to say this. I'm really trying not to do like a straight line here. I want to give it some character, just something more than. That's my girlfriend. Do something more than just you know have a you know straight line. Anyway, we'll be right back. <laughs> I guess today is song day as we build. I enjoy building a lot, so I guess that might be a part of it. The nice, nice, smooth, calm of building with occasional terror bird and Rex to help remind us that we're not alone here. Just saying. Okay, so uh, it, this is coming out pretty good. I was thinking about doing a little little walk out look out areas but the trees just happen to be perfectly in the way so that one there if i go any lower you'll actually see the tree clipping into it this one i go any higher or stay at that height then it will be clipping into it i don't want to do an opening too much taller i don't want to do an opening too low 
So we're going to just roll with how it is at the moment. Maybe do something a little more decorative. You just saw a little peaky inside of there. Did do the secret doors because that's what they are. You don't want anyone to know that we have secrets in these doors because that's what it is. So you got this set up here. Come up like that. Go up around. Set up these stairs here. Go around here. And look at that. Lovely, lovely obsidian floors. Pull this and let's go ahead and place these last couple that need to be placed here. That way we can be ahead of this game. There we go. I think you are one below. Yes, you are. And then you got right there. Very nice. So yeah, I, we're just going to do that. What we are going to be doing, and this time we're going to do finish the accent work here uh, before continuing. We're not going to do a lot, a lot of detail, but we're going to at least get some detail in it because this looks very, very simple, nondescript. Like, okay, here's a shape. It has like, it needs more feels. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we'll work on some other things in here too. I might do like we incorporated in the tower. The floating tower is to use a little bit of force S plus to work with the set, which is, can be annoying very much so, but it is what it is. We got to do what we got to do to make things look a little different. Step it up, make it look different, not just different, but good, different. Cause there's, you know, you can, anything can look different. Doesn't necessarily mean that it looks good. You know what I'm saying? All right. So if we go with one, oh, we had the, we had those walls up there already ready to go already. Excellent. That looks pretty decent actually. Uh, yeah, that's a good start. I think, I don't know what you guys think. Let me know down below what you think. Cause that's, that's how we know what what you're thinking when you tell us in the down below area um let's just go ahead and throw some ceilings back on the bar here raise the bar which is those ceilings there and build stairs down to our level there we go nice 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 stuff now we're going to change you to your Brother Redden's color here matches very well. I think it looks pretty smexy, actually. Let's go ahead and throw smexy there and smexy there and just smexy right here all over everywhere. Oh, I just said smexy and TC looked at me. He's like, what? <laughs> okay, you're smexy too, I guess, to all the male kitties out there. I don't know. Okay, um, now coming down this side, we, we have, let's see, one, two. I could use a three slot, a three space wall here. A three by three. I might just do that. It would save on mats and because I already have them made too. Let's see what I got. I got a bunch of other things getting crafted up. I should have some three by. There we go. Yeah, I have plenty of those. We shall use those. We shall. Shall we use them? We shall. Um, let's grab this since they're three high. One, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of stretchy poo. Um, let's put you in the middle. How about that? That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. And then that way we only use the six of the smaller guys right here. There. And then go over here. And we're going to be using, um, part of the villager set, by the way. Uh, there's a scaffolding, scaffolding, scaffolding. I've done a little bit on that on the eternal, uh, eternal well, the X core server. I did a little bit there. And, um, so we're going to be doing some more of that trim work this time though. It's going to look right. <laughs> I'm not in a, as much of a rush as I was before. And that has a lot to do with, you know, how the feels are, you know what I'm saying? That way, cause it's quicker to just do that instead of having a look at that. Look at that. Okay. Now we'll pull this wall down and there'll be a Rex or something waiting for us. We better hurt it, but you know what I'm saying it's arc. There we go. And there we go. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so with that being done, we're going to go ahead and pop that boy up, that boy up. Bam and bam. Yeah! And that's... Uh, I guess we'll just do that here, too. Because that's probably what should be there anyway. Really like the secret doors. They they really work well. They look like... like the wall they did a really good job i enjoy that that's something that, i don't know i always thought i was always in cool little things like that when i was younger and kid i was like oh that's so neat it's a secret area all right let's do that i'm gonna throw down a beautiful saw so stars there's the stars right there nice 
Very nice. And Chewy, find that Chewy, Chewy double, make a lot of seem trouble. Uh, we will go up three on this side too, just to you know do the the basic rule of arc, which is three high on all walls. I know we have foundational high area, but this will just make sure that everything is in line with how it's supposed to be. Well, that was like it was meant to be. That was like it was meant to be. Okay, there's that one. And we have... This one, and we have... That one. So, that was, that was going to look pretty awesome when it's done here, I think. That's another thing, too. It makes it a lot easier to change the texture when you only have like, to do shoot three times instead of, what, uh, 27 times? <laughs> Okay, and make sure all these are greens. Look like they are. Good stuff. Good stuff. We'll go ahead and go up one more. Just because those went up one more, so we might as well go up one more up here. No, I did not. That was not supposed to do that, but it did. That's very nice of it. Thank you for not being like that. Okay, so I'm going to leave this wall down one. So we're going to make a walkout across here right now and I'm gonna go ahead and throw some stairs up uh, let's do it like this it'll look kind of wonky right now but at least get us to where we can access the areas that need to be accessible all right there we go and still be able to get back down low you know what I'm saying back on the down low Ow! all right get you right here and then we're gonna go across all the way to that I don't hmm. I'm not sure I may end up coming back and taking down those three by threes I don't know I will right, we'll keep them there for now we have the mats we have the ability we have the power so we might just leave it there all right there's that looking good feeling great let's go ahead and change this all to obsidian the obsidian hassle of love okay there we go get these couple here Oh, <laughs> that was kind of funny. Oh. She was there and go ahead and put some stairs here too. I think that would look pretty good. And I feel like since we're going to go that far, we might as well go ahead and add some, some character loving on this thing here. Uh, what we're going to do is put the secret wall here as well. This way we can have more secret wall stuff going on and be like, oh, this place is just riddled with secret walls. You know what I'm saying? Oops, one, two, three, four, five. Right, boom. Oh, yeah. That looks pretty smexy, man. Yeah, the obsidian works well as a contrast to the mossy stone. Because the obsidian won't, like, go, like, won't, like, grow too much crap on it when it's been out there for a while, unlike the stone. So there's a, a, a plausible chance of believability there. You like the words I use there because I was trying to make it, like, sound all professional, like, you know what I mean? All right, there's that. Was it, I didn't mean to grab that. Got it. Burp, 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 burp. Okay, we got that out there. This is here. You're gonna go back. We need the little slants here. We'll put that right there. Bam. Very nice. And and get over here. Open the doors. Boom. And boom. And then boom right there. And uh, there. Nice. Oh. It's such good music. I love it. Love it. This is a great way. Oh, yeah. Let's quit being serious. Let's have a good time. And that's in a fantasy sort of manner. And that's what that was. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> no, don't ask me, please. Please don't ask me. Well, you can, but I don't promise to answer. Let's see how the obsidian version looks. I kind of like the wood contrasting it, but we'll do the obsidian for now. <laughs> this might end up coming off, and ooh, that might be a good idea. That might be a real good idea.
Uh, it's not going to do it for me right now. We'll just change that city and kind of do that. So that way we, we have everything here going in this. Wow. Whatever, whatever. Anyway, go by this. Wow. All right. That looks pretty good. Pretty good. Let's go ahead and get these sides, the flaps down on the sides too, just so and it gives it some more like like finishedness, even though it's like the basement ish kind of thing of the wall. The wall does have a basement, guys. You can clearly see. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Maybe we should do these guys in the mossy. So whenever we come up, it's like all kind of matching. And then when we get over to here, then it's like, what's this? It's obsidian. What's this? Oh, 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 that's the magical. And then the magicalness of prayers. And then I miss magicalness. That's a, that's one of that's one of my quests in, in another version of this game. All right. So maybe, oh man, I don't want to build any supports just yet. I was hoping I could force it in there, but it's not going to. Yeah, it's not going to it's not going to do what we need it to do in the way, manner in which we prefer. So we'll do what, like I said a minute ago, and I should have left it like that, but you know how I am. I can't always just let it be. Let it be. All right. Uh, we have that up. There's a couple more things I'd like to do before we finish out the day today. Uh, but I feel like we're getting along very nicely. And let's see if we can do anything through here. Maybe I could put in a... I don't know if I want to put a secret door in there, too. I think we'll just leave it this one the way it is for now. Let's go ahead and finish these sides too, since I'm in this finishing the sides thing here. So we can be consistent and congruent. All right, everything's done there. We're gonna make sure all these bad boys are like that. And all these like that. And then we'll change you to the obsidian. And that's already obsidian there. Um, we'll go ahead and place this in the middle little in the middle but she got much back for this here and then there ah uh, up oh, up oh, up oh, there it was good stuff okay and then put you right there if it'll let me we'll need to go grab another secret door because i don't think yeah, i didn't bring any more of them that's my bad now i'll put this back on the bar there we go and then yeah, we'll have that ready to roll and then put four here or here and then grab you. We'll leave you. I'm really liking that. It looks looks stellar. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we have that much done. Now, um, I'm going to try and match the other side again. We'll grab the griffin. We'll grab the, let me grab the griffin. I'm going to go and get some more stuff, finish, finish a little touches in here and there. And we'll see how she looks, right? We'll be right back. All right, guys, we have returned. And I think we're good to go here. I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. Um... Yeah, that looks pretty much what we're going to do today, I think. I like having the secondary set of walls on the inside that are more decorative. Yeah, that kind of works. Um, kind of helps set it up. Man, this really makes this look like it could be the, the spot, too. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, one of the trees accidentally fell down, so I'm going to have to get some refertilizer together and refertilize the spot right here. I, I accidentally slammed the ground as a griffin. And that sucks. <laughs> now, this tree may end up having to go just because if that's it. But all the ones on the fringes there, they got to stay. And the super big guys like that one needs to stay. I'm hoping I can make this work. Or hoping. We're hoping. Really want to, you know, again, accent the, the area around it, not necessarily change it. Yeah, you can see that one right there. This might be a problem. This peach colored one. We're going to keep that guy there for sure. Keep that nice fullness. We might end up grabbing some of the Eco's trees that kind of match this white one here and filling it out too to kind of help fix anything that might fall. It just has the, the tendrils coming down, which is looks great, but it doesn't really match the other ones as much. And I think the bark is more of a grayish, ashy color than, than like a wooden, yeah, 
It's like a white grayish versus the brown of the other trees here. <laughs> I think that's funny. Stop. Stop. But yeah, that's what we got going on today. Let's go ahead and do one little look over over everything and see how we how it is. This is not done or anything. This is just again, gotta get something you know started out. Kind of get a shell going on here. You're just you know shimmy it going along. These are just down again to keep my make sure everything is built square with each other. Just in case I need to do anything else, I don't worry about it lining up. Uh, one thing about this set that's different than other sets I've worked with. Uh, didn't I change something? Oh, it was the other way. Uh, one thing that's different about this set than other sets I've worked with is that um there's well no like like games like conan has this has a different kind of wall it has like a 45 or a 33 or some of that um to where you can do offsets this this one is all like 90 degree so everything is going to be exactly always squared up regardless of what we try to do which is not necessarily a bad thing but um this had to think that when we're doing our designing and building here let's go and get these guys finished up i had to do that at least and you look like you could be changed too. Yeah, that had to happen too. Okay, we're good to go. Good to go. And then go up here to the next level. On the next spot. Right here. A1A. Beachfront Avenue. So we have this way that needs a top put on it. Um, then we have this over here. With the lovelies. Uh, let's go ahead and put something here and here. Change these to obsidian. This way it'll kind of match with this, what's going on right now. So we have that, open it up, bam, there we go. Go to the floor here, looking good, looking good, feeling great. Again, we have stuff that's gonna have to happen here, but it's a good, good beginning, very good beginning. I really like how this looks. It's just so, like a majestical, like I'm inspecting. Very majestical, I'm very, uh, it's majestical too. Uh, happy with the loveliness of, the, of what's coming together. The area is just amazing. This map is amazing. You guys are amazing. Thank you guys so very much. And you have yourselves a good night.